guys, it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon here, so I thought I would crack open the second of the beers that were sent to me by Luke Robinson, aka Flybird Brewery, and this is his Cooper's Old Brown Dog, American Brown, clocking at 5.6%, so I'm looking forward to this, big fan of the brown ales, did the Columbus Brown a while ago, and yeah, like like the sort of more multi, um, sort of... Uh, characters of the of the brown ale so nice bit of hiss there Luke thank you very much for this the last beer was really really good the mountain goat steam beer and I'm sure this will be just as good there we go it's poured up really really nice dark brown some nice sort of um, not sure it's showing up on the camera there, some ruby red uh, highlights on the side. Some good carbonation, but um, does looks like it's perfectly carbonated, so it's formed a nice head there, but um, um, but it's, uh, it's not going overboard or anything, so that's very nice. Head's uh, sort of a sort of off-white colour quite large bubbles there but um, you often get that from bottle priming sometimes you just don't get those really fine bubbles that you get with um, kegging so that looks awesome oh that smells good there's some real nice um, sweet sweet malt coming off the top I've got no idea what's in here um, if uh, you want to put some comments, Luke, just give a bit of a brief overview of what's in it. But yeah, some real nice sweet malt character coming off the top. So I'm going to dive in, guys. Haven't had a beer um, all day, so I'm looking forward to this. Oh, that's nice. That is really good, Luke. Um, yes, like following on from the, the aroma, yeah, there's a real nice sort of sweetness coming through from the malts, but it's also um, like a caramel um, toffee sort of um, flavour coming through. The back end, after you swallow it, reminds me a bit of um, like a Werther's, those Werther's original lollies, if you get that sort of bit of taste in your mouth there's a very very distinct toffee slash caramel flavor coming through but it's it's nice and smooth it's not like a sickly um, flavor Ooh, that is really really good that is very very smooth very very easy drinking that is a cracking beer Luke you should be really really proud of that what I might do while I'm enjoying this, I'll, um, I might just go and pay a quick visit to the old um, hops and see what they're doing and show you guys. Beautiful out in the sun. So yeah, here's the, um, here's the end of the string line I put up for the hops. And I did a video a couple of weeks ago. Um, I think they might have been up to about here, so they've climbed to the top here um, as far as the string line goes up and they've just started to um, go on the horizontal probably, I don't know, about three feet along at the moment. So yeah, that's, that's how they're looking, so hopefully yeah, it goes all the way back down here. So yeah, pretty stoked with how it's going, just got to try and keep it watered because it is quite um, hot and dry here at the moment and putting the old um, sea sole fertilizer on so yeah let's go back around here excuse the mess got a bit of a grapevine thing happening here just got to cover that up stop the birds uh, picking all the grapes and while I'm around this side enjoying uh, Luke's fantastic beer I'll just quickly show you what's happening with the Vienna Rakau, sorry, Vienna Rewaka uh, 
tasted ale. So there it is there. So I bottled um, probably half of, oh not quite half of it in bottles here and then I put the rest in the mini pressure barrel. So basically it's just um, conditioning and carving up. So I've just got that sitting at, uh, what have we got, 9 psi. I just top it up uh, if needed. So yeah, hopefully another week I can uh, we can uh, try that. So I'll close that up, keep the heat out. Go back out here. Oops, damn, you've seen my expensive uh, camera stand. I'll just flip you around. Okay. This is a top top beer, Luke. Um, I'm assuming the base is, because uh, it says Cooper's old brown dog, that it's got a Cooper's kit in there, but um, yeah, forgetting about that, that's a really, really, really nice brown um, ale, full stop. Can't pick up that that's, um, that there's a Cooper's um, kit there as a base, to me it, um, that could be an all grain mate. I think on your uh, message to me you said this was your second brew and one of your favourites. And I can definitely see why. That is fantastic, I'll be very very keen to know what's in there. So easy drinking, some nice bitterness there as well. But yeah, what, what I really like is that, that real nice um, s sweet but not sickly um, sort of malt character that's coming through. And uh, it's not heavy going either at 5.6. It's um, a really nice beer for this sort of hot weather, so fantastic job Luke. Um, you guys are watching the video, hopefully Luke gives us a bit more information um, and maybe a link to where you can find the recipe if you're interested. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to top up my glass and enjoy the rest of this. So cheers guys, I hope you're all having um, a pretty decent weekend. Um, and we will catch you next time. I've got one more beer to go of Luke, so we'll catch you uh, probably in about a week's time. We'll try and uh, do a review of that as well. Cheers guys, cheers Luke, catch you next time. Cheers.